We had set out, we were, we were saying, you know, we're gonna kill a buck in Pike County. But then my arms got tired over the course of the week. That looks like a heart shot to me. I don't think we won't bust a doe in Pike County now. Well, last week on the show, Kat got out there and she killed her first two deer with a bow. This week we're heading up to Pike County, Illinois to see if we can't get on our first big Midwest trophy. Well, we got the old exploder loaded down and we've got everything ready to go. We're, we're ready to head to Pike County, Illinois to do some bow hunting and I jump in and hit the key and nothing. Well, we jump start the car and finally we're underway. Well, the trip was going along good, and once we hit the Illinois line, it just, it started coming down in buckets, man. It was just raining like crazy. We got there super late, so we didn't even unload anything. We just got out of the truck and went right to bed. Well, you know, we drove in in the dark, so we didn't really get the lay of the land or anything, and the next day we got up, loaded up the four-wheeler, and decided we were gonna hang a few old man tree stands. Anyway, we're here in Illinois. As you can tell, it's windy outside. It's been raining, it finally stopped raining, and uh, Josh and I got in about one o'clock last night. And haven't been hunting yet, we're out here hanging hanging our old man tree stands. And these boys out here in Illinois, don't, they don't hang tree stands high like we do. All their tree stands are like 10 feet off the ground. But uh, we're gonna hang some sets and see what we can do this evening. Excuse me. Can you tell me where your great granddaddy is? The people here are nice. The deer are just jerks. Might be that way. We decided to just cross the road and go to this little spot that um, Barton had some tree stands already set up. Everything was ready to go, so we hunted close to the house that night. Within maybe five minutes, we saw two yearlings come out. So we're thinking, hey, this Midwest hunting is gonna be easy. You think you're better than me, mess me around. Leave me alone. Come on down. You think you're better than me, mess me around. That right there is what we're looking for here in Pike County. Martin said that was a, uh, a good one, but you could expect a if you were patient enough, you'd expect to kill one like that here. Mac Daddy, man. I'm just gonna kill a doe and tie that on its head. Yeah, we'll get a bungee cord <laughs> and put it on there. There you go. Y'all didn't see anything nice? I see a small buck. Well, you know, we get back to camp and uh, we finally meet the guys we heard snoring all the night before. And uh, they were some good old country boys, man. They were from Georgia. And I knew at least if, if the hunting wasn't that great or if the corn messed us up, at least we're gonna have some good company to hang around in camp. 
Well, one of the guys, Shannon, he brought his video camera. He actually has some pretty good bucks on video from the week that they'd been hunting there. And, you know, he's killed some nice bucks up here. There's no question they're here. It's just a matter of can we get them to come out of the corn long enough to get a shot at them. So after our first full day, zero deer. We didn't even see a deer. And then the storms got there and it rained and it rained and it rained some more. Then it stopped for five minutes and then it rained again. Look at that, look at all that flood plain out there. Goodness. And they got a couple more feet and they're gonna have some problems. We hunted for the next three or four days. I don't even remember which, it felt like about a year. Hey, you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? I don't think you guys are feeling me. We had to sit in the tree stand right next to this all day. We needed a morale booster of some type to just let us know that there are deer out there. Josh, now we're getting poor. We were coming back to the house to get the ground blind and it stopped raining. So it's kind of noisy and all these raindrops coming from the trees and stuff. So they put on a little stalk. You saw that about 110 inch eight point out there. At least we saw one that day. And we get back to camp and uh, finally somebody has killed a deer. My big buddy Ryan had slayed a doe, so we were all excited about that. Smoked it, Jack. We have blood in camp. Yeah, big one. But one of those other Georgia boys, Judge, he was a butcher. So he comes out there and shows us uh, how little we knew about processing deer. He took his thing apart in like five seconds. I mean, you know, I, I looked to see if anybody else was coming out of the lodge and I looked back and her head and feet were off and she was hanging up and had no skin on her. I don't know how that even happened. At about 9.30 or 10, I see an ear flicker and I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, it's a deer. I almost forgot what they look like. Well, this doe walks right through the shooting lane. It was like the perfect shot. And so we're thinking, you know, dang on it. We, we've seen one deer, basically one deer that we would have shot all week. And there it goes, you know. Fortunately for us, at about 40 some yards, she hangs a right and comes back out in the trail in the other opening that I got to shoot through. Hey, 
wasn't all for nothing, baby. We've come up here to Pike County, Illinois, in search of old Mac Daddy. And we still might get him, but none of the corn is cut. It's been horrible, horrible, horrible weather. Nothing's been going right, man. I didn't think we were gonna get her shot, man. I was dead full draw forever. And there was one of those tick over vitals and I kinda raised my pins up to get it over. I said, it's now or never, you know? Blood in Pike County. I don't care if it is a no, Josh. <laughs> That looks like a heart shot to me. Backstrap, baby, tonight. We're gonna grill it up. I got a fire starter in there, man. We can start a fire right now and just eat her. Right here. Oh, I don't know. We called back into camp and nobody's got back yet, so there's no way for us to get a four wheeler out there. So uh, Josh and I actually went and sawed down a tree and, you know, carried her out. Hercules style. That means Josh can have fun pouring through this muddy old bean field. Well, in true redneck fashion, we just slung the deer on top of the vehicle and uh, headed on back to camp. Hey, don't think we won't bust a doe in Pike County now. You know, I know it was just a doe, man, but we were excited. We were pumped up. We had killed. We had gotten. You know, we had turned some arrows red finally in Illinois, and there was blood on the ground, and that night, the best news of all is we got to have some big old fat backstraps off this day. You know how I like them, right off the back. Heat them up a little bit. No sir. Well, hey, you know, hunters being out in the woods this time of year, it's really important to remember to do your tick check and you know ticks can cause all kind of diseases and stuff and if you don't know what a tick looks like it looks just like this full of a tick <laughs> here we are our trips coming to an end the weeks winding down we hadn't even seen a nice buck at this point much less killed one and we're trying to figure out how in the world we're going to get it done in the fourth quarter here in pike county illinois there was one little spot that Judge, one of the guys in camp, told us about. And he said, you know, it was it was kind of hard to get to. You had to walk down some railroad tracks. So what we did is we went down there, hung a double set of old man tree stands, and put out a Buckeye cam. And we were just going to hope that we got some pictures back that night. See what time was that? 5.30 in the a.m. It was our last evening. We had already loaded up the truck. Everything was packed and ready to go home. And the idea was, we were gonna give it one last shot at the railroad stand and you know, just hope we saw something that resembled that deer, maybe a little bigger. Define miserable. I think somewhere in the dictionary an example might be in Pike County, Illinois, with a four hundred dollar tag in your pocket, the corn ain't cut and it's pouring down rain. And all logic tells you that no big bucks are gonna move, they're gonna stay in the corn going hunting anyway. And you already feel pretty okay. Go on, it should be fun. So we muster enough energy for one last hoorah. We're gonna drag ourselves down this train track. We were tired, we were soaking wet. We didn't want to hunt in this rain anymore. And we were just gonna give it one last shot. We were sitting there a while and, and some does started trickling out into the field. While I'm sitting there and it's starting to get late, it's starting to get dark. 
and I hear rocks falling down the railroad track. You know, here I am thinking, gosh, man, a person is coming down the railroad track. It's our last chance, our last hunt, you know. And here comes somebody walking down the daggone railroad track. So I look over about half disgusted, thinking this is a person walking down the tracks. And out from behind the bushes steps one of the biggest bucks I've ever seen on the hoof. We were trying to figure out what we were going to do. It was almost like a panic scramble to try to get an arrow in this deer because he was steadily heading toward our downwind side. I did everything I could to try to get an arrow in this deer. I, I mean, I tried to lean around the tree, almost fell out of my tree stand. I actually climbed into Josh's stand with him. I had one foot in Josh's stand and I was trying to lean around him to get a shot. Well, we get back that night pretty frustrated. Yeah, we'd seen a good deer, but you know we couldn't get a shot at him. It's our last day. We got to leave. We were gonna leave that night. We were just gonna drive through the night to our next hunt, but we gotta hunt this deer one more time. Also, don't forget to support Hunters for the Hungry. We've still got this wristband program going, and last year our fans fed over 5,000 hungry or needy people. I am just shocked and hurt. <laughs> Hope you guys got tickets to the gun show. Ready to work out? I don't know if you heard his counter. He did over 1,000. <laughs> what, what? I'm in the tree stand. I don't have time to go to the gym, so I have to sculpt my guns in the bean field. Hercules, Hercules. Now I know what you're asking yourself, and the answer is yes. I named my bows. <laughs>